Murphy will talk plays extra. Episode 102 extra clips here. We have 10 awesome clips, so sit back, relax, enjoy as per usual, and watch the awesomeness unfold. We begin here with Rocky Bros playing on Sharky Peninsula. And uh, he's climbing up the stairs here, getting in this building, defending on rush mode. He has an M40A5, and he's just spotting up some targets off in the distance, trying to choose who to shoot first. This guy gets nominated for two bullets in the back, and then that guy gets a bullet in the back of his skull. Then he just takes out that spawn beacon for good measure, gets another headshot, and that guy that did not know where the hell that was coming from, that guy's letting rip there like Rambo, and then just gets a bullet in the face. He does miss a shot there, but the second shot, he kills the guy. So it's all good. So as we come around here, there's another guy just staring at a wall over there for whatever reason. He gets a bullet twice there in the back and then in the ass. And as we come around, circling around, looking around the left hand side, we see a couple of guys hopping around doing as they do. Helicopter. He gets a hit marker on the pilot, but unfortunately he's not able to take him down there before he flies out of view. So we're going to go back up here on our sniper perch on this house. And we see some more people running around, scattered around the area, trying to push up here and take those MCOMs. Gets another two headshots, three headshots in a row just there. And what I just love about this clip is just he's taking people out left, right and centre with headshots across the board. A few body shots every now and again, but great accuracy all round. Now this clip here is just something different and I find it enjoyable to watch. I don't know, it's not the most impressive clip that we're going to feature today, but it is pretty fucking awesome. The way he's just sort of switching guns between kills, trying to get as many different people as possible with all different kinds of weapons. And uh, he's using his magnum crossbow, his sniper there, he's picked up a PP-19, taking down a couple guys with that, and then guys with G-18 suppressed, and it was just a little quick chaotic little clip there, so yeah. But we move on here to our next clip here from Sleep Arts. And uh, he's just rolling around here in the tank, spotting up some targets in the air, taking a guy down there with the small. Because fuck it, why not? The tank wasn't seem to just didn't seem to be cutting it at the time. So small was what we wanted. So we took down a jet there with that small. And then he fires off and hits that jet, but doesn't kill it with the uh, you see it hitting it, and it just doesn't die for whatever reason. We take down a uh, suicide bomber there that was on the dirt bike, as you can see with the little icon that he's edited in there on the right hand side. We've taken down a jet and a motorbike. And uh, way off in the distance you can see someone else flying in, so we're just going to try and see if we can actually get a pot shot on him. Doesn't get him there with those ones, but this is a fucking awesome shot. Leading that target way off into the distance, and uh, it's well done. So we skip forward after he captures this flag here. And uh, he starts getting hit there with that helicopter, and then he takes him down like it's nothing. Even though he was in the sun, you couldn't even see him. So he takes him down, he jumps out, the kind of glitches out a little bit, takes down another jet with the small. And it was kind of glitching out with the way of reload animation and stuff. All around, awesome clip, taking down two jets, a helicopter, and a morbid. I had to watch this one a couple of times here from OG Vikings. He gets a collateral there with his first bullet. And then he gets a triple with his second. Five people with two bullets, and then a couple of singles just to round it off. That's pretty fucking awesome right there. Sergeant HBK, he parachutes in, playing here TDM on Caspian Border. And he's just doing as he does, chucking C4 all over the shop. You know, why not, as we're coming down there. Gets himself a bunch of guys just there, nice little multi-kill. And uh, takes one down there with a the PKP, and as we run around the corner just here, they all start, start scrambling around wondering what the fuck is going on as he just starts wiping everyone off the face of the earth here with his PKP. That guy prioritized wrong there for whatever reason, he went and healed his teammate even though he was about to get his face blasted off. And uh, as we come out here, he just mops up everyone around him. Nice little head to clip where he gets a bunch of people and 1,700 points. Pro Durex playing here on Damavan Peak with the M1 Abrams tank. And uh, there's an enemy T90 running around this area just here. We can't be having that. Take down a couple of infantry in the process before just taking that tank down. And uh, go back to the infantry just here with the uh, LMG on the front of the tank. I think it is. I don't think it's the HMG that a lot of people run these days. This time here is an LMG, so it shoots a bit faster. But, you yeah, know, you can deal a lot of damage pretty damn quickly. Sneaky support guy there showing up out of nowhere trying to get some C4 on his tank. He gets a tank shell to the face. It blows up the guy's C4, but doesn't damage the tank somehow, or at least not by very much. But uh, as you come around the corner just here, a bunch of guys sitting on that little corner there trying to take down his 
his teammates. Uh, there's only one MCOM station to take, so the whole enemy team is just focused on this one side of the map here, or one side of the tunnel, rather. And, uh, well, it's very highly concentrated area, so we need to get the tank in there, try and do as much damage as possible, hopefully help our teammates out, get in there on the MCOM station, then we can move on to the next set of MCOMs. And uh, as he just rolls up here on top of the rocks, which I'm not too sure a tank could actually do, but fuck it, it's Battlefield, so why not? Uh, we roll up on top of here, and we just start raining death down upon the enemy team here that are trying to push back the attackers, and he just mops up, getting over 2,000 points really, really quickly. And, uh, yeah, I just love these clips here where someone just rolls up in a tank and absolutely obliterates the enemy team. He starts taking some damage, he's not too sure from where, and he does die. But he gets 19 kills in one and a half minutes. Next. Our next clip here comes from Machine of War 90, and he's playing Operation Metro with 870 MCS, taking down two people right off the bat and getting in there and disarming his MCOM station. I believe he's using slugs here in his 870, so it's a very, very powerful combination using the slugs here in 870 MCS, and uh, you tend to go down in one shot if you're anywhere near the guy that's shooting at you, especially if it hits you right in the face. It tends to kill you slightly. Oh, another pesky attacker into the MCOM station. What are you doing in here? Where? Just get away. And, uh, well, one thing about this clip is uh, when he comes out here, he's too busy focused on killing as many enemies as possible. He didn't actually revive that guy that was right at his feet. And I think the guy actually lets them know in the, uh, the chat box up the top left. But, well, sometimes you need to prioritize killing people over reviving because, you know, you get shot. And it happens all the time in the top place. So, yeah, look at that how you will. But as he comes up the escalators, he takes down two more people there with the 870 combat shotgun. Or MCS, I'm not too sure if Combat Shotgun is right, I'm, I don't know, what does MCS stand for? Someone tell me in the comment section down below. No doubt about 50 of you are going to tell me now in the comment section down below. But whatever. As we come up the little uh, escalators just again here, we take down another three people. And uh, they start stacking up around this side, so it's time to resort to using our pistol, which is the M9 Tactical in this case, just here. Uh, takes down one person, then goes for the old ninja stab, taking that guy down there. Stabbing his throat out. Time to get some shells back in our shotgun, make sure we're ready for anything, and eat this slug right in your face right there, good sir. As you come charging up the stairs. Uh, that, that would probably, that would do some damage. I, I would imagine getting shot in the face with a slug. Ball run, great clip, running around, getting so many kills here. Operation Metro, defending MCOM stations and such. Moving on. Fuck. I'm gonna get him. The Squirrel for the second time this week here. This clip was also sent in along with the other one that I featured on Wednesday. And uh, he starts off the clip there getting himself two kills with the repair tool. And uh, again, the quality isn't amazing, but uh, I quite like, uh, yeah, enjoy this clip here. It's something a little bit different. As he picks up a kit there, sits behind this uh, little spawn beacon, and then fries the guy's ass. Alrighty then, so we pick up this M16, he kills one guy and then realizes, nah, actually I want this gun here. Picking up the GNG90 from that guy that he just barbecued, he then gets himself two kills right away, misses the third one, but does get him there, and uh, shooting down upon these enemies just here. I'm sorry, I can't really even see it myself, but uh, he gets himself another couple of kills. Last one there with the M1911 suppressed with a little headshot. And as we go up on top of the roof, we see some more targets. Takes that one down there, and I think he actually hears this guy coming. You can hear uh, when you don't have the music on and all the rest of it, but he hears that guy coming, kills him again, picks up his kit, which is obviously the exact same guy that he used the kit of last time, and uh, he decides, oh, let's just jump down here, let's see what's happening down this side. Gets in there for the ninja stab before he does die. I thought it was an interesting little clip. Onliner94 now, he is playing here in Capture the Flag, and he's rolling up here in his T90 tank. And uh, the enemy team are getting overrun at the moment. His team are swarming all over this base at the moment. This guy comes charging in with his motorbike, expecting to do something with it. I'm not entirely sure what his game plan was. But he got lit up pretty quickly. And as we back up here, there seems to be uh, an M1 Abrams tank just there. It gets uh, pummeled to death here as a javelin missile came in, weakened them a little bit, enabling uh, Onliner to take him down swiftly before moving on to see more targets up here. And this is really when the clip starts to kick off, as he just comes storming in here, doesn't care about this house, fuck that house, just charge right into his wall, taking the guy down there with the HMG this time, I, I think, I'm, I, I'm not entirely sure, but he gets uh, a couple of kills just there, he's got over 700 points in his current streak, that guy gets obliterated with a tank shell, so 
That's cool. And then this helicopter gets a tank shell up the rectum just there, taking that down also. It's always good in the clip to throw in a couple of chopper kills and such. You know, always brightens up the clip. But as we're rolling up here on the hill, we're trying to defend this guy who's running away with a flag at the current moment. So time to beat back the enemy team, make sure they don't get back down here and actually kill the guy that's trying to retrieve the flag. And uh, as we roll up just here, a few enemy players are sort of creeping around these rocks. This uh, helicopter's back up in the air all of a sudden, and then he just shoots it down again. He's like, son, I've not got time for you. We're, you know, we're taking some people down here. We can't be dealing with no choppers. Enemy tank is back, so uh, time to back down a little bit here. See if we can actually get a couple more kills of the enemy team that are coming down here, trying to back get back to their flag again. And, uh, well... Enemy team, they're just all over the shop at the moment. All around, cool clip, getting a bunch of kills as well as two helicopter beatdowns. The NCIS 06, of course, and we already had a clip by him this week, so that's why this clip here is on the extras rather than the main show. But don't don't think anything of it. This clip is fucking awesome. He has an M98B, and that guy there is in a jet, and uh, unfortunately does not hit the guy. That would have propelled this clip definitely into the top plays this week if we actually hit that shot just there but again this clip is fucking awesome as he takes down two guys quickly there and a third one there with two body shots and as we move up here towards the edge of this building we're gonna get oversight on some more enemies to pop and take that guy's head off there with the M98B for running over here and doing the same to this guy well that guy gets two body shots so well he only gets merely ripped in half so that's all right backing up again we look around see if there's anyone else we actually can take down this guy tries to cross the street without looking both ways and gets a bullet in the crotch this guy gets one in the face and uh, as we back off and reload a weapon just here, we gather our thoughts, we see what's going on in the situation. And uh, that guy's aiming a javelin at us, so we must shoot him right in the face. He's probably aiming at a helicopter, I don't think it was at him, because you can't really do anything with a javelin against the guy with a sniper rifle, unless he's stupidly standing next to his spawn beacon. But uh, we got another couple of headshots in a row, as well as that guy's face just there. And again, back off, giant reload our gun. He's just killing people so damn quickly that he needs to reload his gun every two minutes. He no-scopes that guy in the face from there. And uh, he misses that shot, misses that shot, unfortunately. Third time lucky, and well, not quite. He actually hit the guy, but he didn't kill him that time. But he decides, ah, screw this, we're jumping down, we're taking this tank because the enemy team were uh, not watching it close enough, and uh, we're gonna just relieve them of their T90. Now it's time to really move in for the kill, as he, uh, you know, he's just gonna sit here just patrol this area, stop the enemy team from getting back into the building to defend their MCOM stations, and all round just be a massive pain in the ass for the enemy team at the moment here with the T90 tank. Absolutely obliterating them. That guy there decided, uh, nope, I'm just gonna hop back into this ocean just here, and then instantly climb back up again and got shot in the face anyway, even though he twice, he jumped into the ocean and then he came back up and jumped back in, but oh well. As we move forward backwards here, uh, a few enemy players are just sort of looking around the area. The tank takes a bit of damage, but the damage is already really done. Uh, his team have actually on the MCOM station. It's looking like it's actually going to go off any second. Getting one last kill there with a 44 Magnum. He picks up an F2000, but doesn't have time to do anything with it. But yeah, that was an awesome clip. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Battlefield Top Plays Extra, hit that like button down below. It always helps out the show, keeps things running smoothly, and I can continue to provide you with entertainment. But until next time, I've been Meg Mooney, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.